action is up to hole number four. Reasonably well, nothing great, but has certainly not given a whole lot of good position to really springboard the round from here. Seems to like it. Headed for the So a chance for Birdie after another solid approach shot. It's no snack though. Good try, just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for Pop. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Oh, that was nasty. That's an outrage right there. I mean, if there's a high commission of, of golfdom, we need to consult them right now, because it's just simply not fair, Frank. It's not. I think the people above are frowning on the people below. Frank, what's the key here at the fifth hole? It's par four, 424 yards. Yeah, the first real stringent tee shot of the day. Three bunkers, first one not really in play. Uh, that third one in the distance, unless you're someone like a Bubba Watson, you should be able to aim at that and not reach it. Excellent drive right there, Frank. Circa 310. Set now for the second shot, par four, fifth. Just be aware of where the flag is. If it's cut in that front section, you definitely want to carry the front of the green. Uh, the hole is a little more difficult when they start to push that flag in the back left. You can see it narrow up there. Not too unhappy with that, Frank, at 17 feet. No, from that distance, it's uh, more than good. They'll have 17 feet on this putt. Another one goes in. Frank, the sixth here at Banff Springs is a good little hole, isn't it? It is. Very tempting. Very easy to sort of uh, just stand up there and wail away with the driver and get caught. This is a generous fairway. You could hit any club down there and you're not going to have a problem with the second shot. So it's just trying to find a yardage that you're comfortable with. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. Be safely on deck. What do you try up next? Frank, start the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. Good putt, and now one under par. Now to the long par five, seventh hole, 602 yards, Frank, they call it hoodoo. Yeah, it's nothing for a little muscle man. Bust one up the tee there. Well, actually it is. You're going to need two of your best if you want to reach this par five and two. So, start with a good one. Oh, this looks good. Certainly is. Nicely played shot, about 310 yards down the fairway. And now the second shot here at this par five. Now this is not hitting in the right direction. You know, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. Into the thick stuff, that's a difficult lie. Remember, out of the rough, expect the ball to jump forward a little bit. Oh, no, look out, Frank. I think he flushed that one. Oh, this is, this is going, going, gone. Bit surprising. Misses the green in regulation here at the par five. Yeah, you'd think this is one of the easier holes on the golf course. Um, so now just trying to avoid six. 
Very nicely done, right on the dance floor. A makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under par. That is a painful bogey at the seventh hole. Has this now for bogey. So with that, the score is now at even par. Frank, you like this kind of design feature where you go from the longest hole in the course immediately to the shortest hole. Certainly, golf giveth and golf taketh away. Uh, this is just minimally uphill, just a couple of feet, but you can see from the overview the design of the green. And that flag's on the right, it's a little bit of a longer carry, so just be a little cognizant of that. You don't have to hit it directly at the flag. Great effort right there, and a great chance to knock in that short putt. Getting set now over the putt. That was a good-looking putt, just not falling right now. No, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. Frank, that's a par, and onward we go. Well, that wraps up another round here at Banff Springs. Frank, what caught your eye today? Just the gorgeous scenery, Rich. Golf course not overly long, but uh, not often we get north of the border in, uh, in just an idyllic part of the world. We saw plenty of great shots out on the course today, and we're looking forward to getting back to the action soon. So for all of us here at EA Sports, this is Rich Lerner, along with Frank Navolo saying, until next time. Presented by EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour. It's second round coverage of the Alberta Classic. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. That's a good spot right there. Send a cut. Oh, that had some meat behind it. Now the approach shot here at the par four first. Generous green, just a little bit uphill. Not minute, really. Big green to hit into, though. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. On the green, and a chance for birdie here on the first hole. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. Frank, that's not one you're necessarily thinking about making. No, just a uh, good putt, though. There's no two ways about that. He's putting well. In for par. On to the second hole, 171 yards. Tricky little par three. That's well played, and now a good look at birdie. Well, it's that sneaky distance. A 
that was just a lousy putt right there. No other way to say it. This for par. You love to watch him disappear, don't you? So a par four to open, then a par three, and now Frank here at the third, a par five at 528 yards. And you get to see everything very early on in the round. Dog leg left first hole, par three second, and now a long dog leg right par five. With a good, good tee shot, though, you can definitely reach this hole in two. Frank, it makes the game easy when you play it from the fairway. Especially when you play it from a lie like that. Second shot here on the par five third at Banff Springs. Even though the green's protected by bunkers on the left, everything sort of kicks from the player's right to the left. So you can land that ball in the right section of the green allowed to feed towards the flag. He'll be pleased with that. The approach shot is about 12 feet away. And getting ready for the putt. Well, Frank, it's our job to get excited. You can't. You can't when you leave it short, though. I'm sad. He's making my job hard. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. It's hard for birdie. We haven't seen a whole lot of that, Frank, but that has to feel good. Well, Frank, no doubt this is one of the most photographed holes in, in all of golf. Yeah, Devil's Cauldron. Just get to the front of the tee there. Get the camera out. The vistas there are amazing. You see the mountains in the background. This green surrounded by the pine trees. Of course, if you like a, a, a lake or two, there's a lake just in front of that green. Just to give you that little color of blue in the, in the uh, snapshot you're going to take. I like to look at them, not swimming. Certainly not fish golf balls out. That's a head scratcher, no other way to put it. That close to the green and misses it badly to the right. Makeable punt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. Frank, it has been that kind of a tournament, another bogey. Well, again, Frank, we get that good mix of holes here. We've had a couple of par threes, a short par five, and that opening par four. Now at the fifth hole, 424 yards, par four. The first bunker on the right, not really in play for the good players. Uh, just be a little cognizant of that one on the left side. You know, in what club you want to hit off the tee. Um, ideally, that line is the third bunker, the one in the distance. That's a good line off the tee here. No fairway here, this one in that rough. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. Wow, this player has some talent. Young and explosive. There's a birdie cut line. Frank, disappointing couple of rounds there. And consequently a missed cut. Uh, no chance playing in the weekend, but uh, there's more than one tournament ahead.
EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the International Challenge. Frank, through the years, there have been some great winners at the Open Championship played at Royal Troon. Well, just in recent uh, history, remember Mark Kalkovec here in the playoff with Wayne Grady and Greg Norman. Um, there was also Todd Hamilton when he beat Ernie Els in the four-hole playoff. And back in 1996, Justin Leonard was to win his Open Championship. Tom Watson also won an Open Championship here. Tom Weisskopf, his only major, that was 1973. The great Arnold Palmer, Bobby Locke, they all won at Royal Troon. You can play it from there, 300 yards away and in the fairway. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. Uh, this looks like it's going to find the target. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. Settles in over the putt. One more birdie, and now tied for the lead. Frank, this 11th hole can be a real bear. Even the golden bear knows that. Yeah, just to remind him, in his rookie year in 1962, he made a whopping 11. Now, I can't remember the last time uh, I heard uh, Jack Nicklaus make double figures. Maybe a bogey five or even a double bogey six. Not so bad. Good contact, good result. Rich, I remember back in 1997 playing alongside Tiger Woods in the third round. You know what he shot that day? It was low. It was a great round, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the lowest round he's ever shot in the Open Championship. 64 to be precise. Uh, Justin Leonard went on to win the Open Championship that year. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. And I want to have this for birdie. How does that not go in? He has this attempt for par. Just dwindling the holes down. Piles are fine right now. Back here on the bonny shores of Scotland at Royal Troon Golf Club with just a wee breeze, as they say over here, Frank. On the tee at the 12th. A yeah, hole that bends to the right, uh, gorse right and left. There's a bit of a mound and rough down the right side. That has to be avoided. Good tee shot, good lie, and now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. That is classy. Well, the chance of going in. And this will be a five foot putt here. <laughs> nice birdie to move to the under par for the tournament. Action flying all over the place. Let's get down now to the 13th. As we catch up with our featured golfer, Frank, really putting together a solid round. An important stretch of holes coming up here late in this round, too. And uh, to post a score makes such a big difference. That score will stand in good stead at the end of the day. There's always advantage of hitting it further than most, Rich, and straighter than most. When you put the two together, it's just straight up a head start. 
Second shot. Good look at the green. Get down. Look out. It's over. The green. Just averted danger right there. So close. Why does he have all the luck? Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. That had to really hurt, Frank, because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his metal. Hard-fought par right there. Heading for home now, Frank, the par 3, 14, just under 180 yards. What's the key here? Well, it's rather narrow at the front there. There's three bunkers, but it's the second two that you really worry about that narrow the front of this green up. Plus, the front is slightly raised, so ideally you want it to fly more towards the middle where it starts to widen up. Frank had hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. It, uh, you wonder what he was thinking on that. You like this one, Frank? Oh, it's a good one. Safely on. Nice par to remain three under. At the 15th, this par four is over 480 yards. The key here really is the three bunkers. Two on the left, one on the right. 260 yards gets you past that. If you find the fairway here, then you don't have to worry about the three bunkers that are short of this green. Frank, this is a way to make golf easy when you can hit it that deep. Oh, I'm going to say, I know that first number's a three. I'm guessing the second one's a two. Let's call it 320. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Great effort right there, and a great chance to knock in that short putt. Not a gimme, but well within his range. like that four under so through one round Frank our leader really put on a good show today they certainly did Rich it was truly a great performance especially from Tita Green it's not easy to come out of the gates like that Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the International Challenge. Good spot right there. Center cut. Really some strong winds out there today, and we can already see the effects on some of these shots. And he's set up for his second shot here, looking to knock it on the green. And this will be fine. Just a little left of the flag. 
Oh, just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. Back to back birdies, we'll see. Comfortably inside the cut line, the young prodigy makes another birdie. Back to the action here as we get ready to tee off at the par 3 8th. Yeah, five bunkers surround this green that's perched up. The two really to avoid, they're on the right side. They're incredibly deep pot bunkers. And there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. What a display of shot making this has been, Frank. Oh, the incredible approach shot there. The easiest of birdies coming up. Given the situation, Rich, things so tight at the top. Very, very good birdie. That was huge right there. Still with a great chance to come away with this title. Frank, the ninth hole, 423 yards. Not especially long by today's standards. You're looking to make birdie here? Or you're happy to make a par and move on to the back nine? Well, there's certainly a chance for birdie. One of the hardest things about the ninth is the raised green. Um, and it's sort of, there's two tiers here, just the top level. If that pin is on the top tip, top level, then you would certainly walk away with four very happily. Wow, that is a monster drive down there, about 315 yards. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Mm, just a beautiful approach shot. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Frankie took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. Just a superb performance on the front side. He's hoping to keep it going here on the back nine, Frank. The game is so much easier when you're swinging well, putts are going in. Really, you've just got to keep out of your own way. Like the looks of this one. Oh, yeah. Good tee shot right in the short grass. You'll need to catch this solid 190 yards away. Frank, when you look at great rivalries in sports, you realize that athletes need each other. Joe Frazier needed Muhammad Ali to achieve greatness, to achieve legendary status. And in golf, Tom Watson needed Jack Nicklaus to push him to another level. And also to define an era. Uh, without one, we couldn't think of the 80s or the 90s or the 2000s or the 2010s. You need those players to define that era, so you need competition. Competition is not without rivalry. Just continuing to play some really good golf. Eight under par for the championship. Daunting tee shot here at the par 4 11th, Frank. This is all you want. Yeah, this requires your best tee shot. Doesn't matter if it goes left to right or right to left. This is a must-hit fairway. Otherwise, you don't know what you're going to finish up shooting. Oh, that's fine. What a turn of events. Just turned this round upside down. Started off slow, but then managed to pick up the pace. And back on track now. Frank, which way is this headed? Well, judging by his uh, body English, looks like it's heading a little right. There is a bit of green out there, though. Steady all day long. That one about 20 feet away. He'll settle. He really likes this hole. Made birdie yesterday. Can he do it again today? Oh, 
Yeah, he's gonna love that one, Frank. Sensational effort. No, oh, just eat that, eat that up. Well, Rich, two rounds in the books, and it's easy to see why the leaders are on top of that leaderboard. Excellent performance, but still a long ways to go in this tournament. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today at Bridge of the International Challenge. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. How did that not go in? Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. You've let one go. You've got to really knuckle down there and make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important this one goes in. Frank, it's all about the difficult rough off the right-hand side of the green here at the hole they call the slopes. Yeah, 600 plus yards par five, so really you don't want to be flirting with that right side. Oh, beautiful swing, and the result is every bit as good. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. That's an absolute beauty. Ready for his third shot. Needs to hit this close. That's well played. Places it about 10 feet out for birdie. Been pretty good all day from this distance. Just trying to take care of business. for all the world like it was dead center. I've got no idea how that missed. So just a formality here. Continues to hold that sizable lead on the rest of the field. Frank, we're moving inland now to the seventh hole. It's a 405 yard par four. What's ahead? Little dog leg to the right. Uh, a couple of bunkers right on the corner of it. So once again, check the breeze and uh, somehow, somehow, Find that fairway. Officials are calling that one around 310 yards. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now... Good look at birdie. Par yesterday. Now for birdie. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knocking him for a par, and let's forget about this one. Um, golf is not about perfect, but it is 
This is going to hurt the course. Good effort, good par putt. All right, Frank, as we arrive at the par 3 eighth, the only thing I can think of is if a 71-year-old guy can make an ace here, well, then so can our, our gamers. Well, they certainly can. At 123 yards, uh, well, you think it'd be... Well, why shouldn't it be called the postage stamp? Go with too much club, it's one you'll email. He'll take that one all day long. Very solid, about 15 feet away. Birdie here yesterday, trying to do it again today. Well, Frank, it's our job to get excited. You can't. You can't when you leave it short, though. I'm sad. He's making my job hard. Hard-fought par right there. Ready to go here at the ninth at Royal Troon Golf Club. 423 yards. What are you looking to do with this one, Frank? Well, it's another one that's a dog leg left. Um, it's called the Monk, actually, because it faces the village of Monktown. One bunker on the left, 285 yards to carry that. But it's not that you're trying to carry it. It's you're trying to cut the ball off that. Well, that sets up well for a chance at the green here at the ninth. Second shot. Good look at the green. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Locked in on the read and the speed. Really starting to shine, moves to 10 under for the tournament. Frank in golf, there's nothing quite like the final round of a hotly contested championship, and this one could be a doozy. And there's nothing uh, quite like that leaderboard I'm looking at right now. We are going to have some amazing golf. This one is going to have to be won. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the International Challenge. Heading for home now, Frank, the par 3, 14, just under 180 yards. What's the key here? Well, it's rather narrow at the front there. There's three bunkers, but it's the second two that you really worry about that narrow the front of this green up. Plus, the front is slightly raised, so ideally you want it to fly it more towards the middle where it starts to widen up. Midway through this back nine could use this birdie here at the 14th. Made par yesterday, this one for birdie. Might be, could be. And he has it, Frank. I don't believe it. Now at the 15th at Royal Troon Golf Club, 483-yard par four. This, Frank, is one of the hardest holes in the course. 
It's certainly a stout par four at that distance. Um, if you're playing it into a head breeze, then 260 yards is certainly going to be a big tee shot. But 260 yards takes all the bunkers out of play. That's an absolute tracer right there. In the fairway and well over 320 yards. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Terrific golf shot. And now, that for an easy birdie. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Racking them and stacking them. That's 12 under par now for the tournament. The back nine here at Royal Troon has only one par five, and here it is, Frank. At 542 yards, you'd think it's reachable, but that burn cuts in at 280 yards, so it means you have to lay back. But I remember back in 1997, playing alongside Tiger Woods, and he still managed to get it on the green from behind the burn. It was some... Good news is, was able to retrieve the golf ball. Uh, yeah, on dry land, and uh, can he carry it this time, though? Third shot now, after the last one found the deep blue. Yeah, you can still minimize the damage here. It's only one bad shot that you got punished for. What was he thinking there? I have no earthly idea. He'll need to be strong with this. Good recovery shot. Couldn't make the green, but at least he's back in play. Played the smart shot right there. He's already at a handful. This is fifth shot. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. And this will be a five-foot putt here. That's a bogey, but still in the lead. Yes. When we start to see shots in hand, really valuable. 17th here at Royal Troon. This is a very strong par three, isn't it, Frank? Well, if, rabbit have, if rabbits have teeth, then this is why it's called rabbit. Very, very strong par three. Not terrible, but not his best. An outside chance, really, for uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Hey, that was a good-looking putt, just not falling right now. Well, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. Par attempt here. Did the job right there. Frank, the right fairway bunker ruined Greg Norman's chance at the 1989 Open Championship here at Royal Troon. And um, there's one bunker down the right side. Hit a perfect tee shot. What looked like it was perfect. Somehow it managed to run all the way down there and behind the lip. And, of course, the rest is history. That is massive off the tee. Meters, yards, I don't care how you measure that. That's got to be what? 300 meters, 325 yards, something like that. And this one just starts right of the flag. You can't hide the flag stick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable, that. That never deviated offline. Can't booty them all, Rich. 
to win the international challenge. That is a solid par putt. Just a great putt and a great win.
EA Sports and the Wolf Creek Golf Club so proudly present opening round coverage of the EA Sports Spring Invitational. Today we're here at Wolf Creek Golf Club in Mesquite, Nevada. Rich Loader alongside Frank Navalo set to bring you all of the action for the EA Sports Spring Invitational. And Frank, what can the players expect from Wolf Creek? Just a mesmerizing layout, Rich. You can see that from above. Straight driving is imperative out there today. You actually don't have to hit the ball a long way. The elevation on those tees is going to give you that extra distance on almost every shot. You can even take driver out of play on some of the holes. But really, it's about being in the right position first on those tee shots that you're going to hit today. Frank, they say you have to ride the wind. Boy, he got all of that one. Got every ounce out of the conditions. This is a good-looking shot. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to save it for the rest of the round. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Good work there. Now to even par. Let's take you down to the seventh hole. Nothing noteworthy here in the first round, Frank, but still plenty of golf to be played. That's right, Rich. A little bit of a dry spell, but really not a lot of damage done. Might need some wings just to clear this hazard. Um, that water is looking rather intimidating. So this will be the third shot after taking the drop with the ball going in the water. Ball sitting down here in the rough. He's digging in. So toweled off, dried off, and ready to go. Yeah, let's hope uh, this swing he hasn't still got the floaties on. Has to regroup, playing his fifth shot after hitting it in the water. Yeah, it's not all lost. Once again, check the yardage, check the wind, start again. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. That's a disappointment right there, Frank. Yeah, green light special, really. Come up considerably short. All right, now another shot from the rough. Yeah, this time better be better than the one we just saw. Well, double par here. Time to pick up and move on. Frank, the par 3-8 really is Wolf Creek in a nutshell. It's hard, and it's really pretty. It is, and it's really long, too. Uh, just under 250 yards off that back tee. Slight bit of elevation, but uh, you can see from the tee, obviously, where you don't want to go and where you do go. Um, if you're a little, uh, well, tender of heart, then aim for the right side and avoid all that water down the left. It's no snack, though. Good read, good line, well played. Finishing up this front side here at the par 4 ninth, 390 yards, and what are we looking at, Frank? Well, it looks relatively straightforward, uh, but it's anything other than that. Decision time again, do you lay it up into that wide area of the fairway? If you're a longer hitter and you are out here to have a little bit of fun, then maybe you want to take the head cover off because you get a little bit of an advantage if you can drive it over that last bunk on that right side or at least take that out of play because you're only going to have a short pitch in here. 
Approach shot into this ninth green, Frank. What's the best play? A good drive, especially an ambitious drive down there, is just going to leave a pitch up to this green. And uh, if you're coming in here straight, really, it's a good time to just hit one there and skip and skip it into that flag. You can land it short, come in a little lower, and bounce it back towards the flag. This is a long putt. Really, the key is the speed. If it drops, that's a bonus. Speed wasn't bad on that long putt, but the read wasn't very good. Getting set now over the putt. Well, that's just a poor putt, Frank, and now let's hope he doesn't make a Michael Dublé. He's hardly going to be singing after that one. Frank, they didn't have any openings at the EA Sports Basketball because, I mean, this is just brutal to watch. Well, that'll do it for day number one and a, a tough start for some of those uh, who were hoping for better things. Yeah, slow start, uh, surprisingly, really, and hard to put your finger on, on why because we saw a lot of good golf, but uh, now outside looking in, we'll need to play well tomorrow. EA Sports and the Wolf Creek Golf Club so proudly present second round coverage of the EA Sports Spring Invitational. Whoop, this is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. And it looks like it's in the rough there, Frank. It might not be as bad as it looks. As 80 yards left. Frank, not only is this a beautiful golf course to look at, but it's fun to play because you can hit it ridiculously long. Off an elevated tee, you know, altitude, warm air, at times the ball will just feel like it's going to go forever. But sometimes in golf too, it's, it's still about controlling distance. So it's fine to hit a driver a long way, but second shots can be very, very difficult because if you're hitting a short iron, it's hard to control that distance. And in the end, it's still about how close you hit it to the flag. Factor in that too, the putting on all these greens, which is very, very difficult. But um, that's why Wolf Creek, it's an experience to see, fun to play, but difficult to work out. Frank, it has been that kind of week, just a few too many pars. Par 3 8, 248 yards down to the green. What a hole. Yeah, maybe you put your two hands together, make a little prayer. You might make two, but uh, you make three here and run to the next tee. This is uh, it's just a gorgeous par 3, yeah, but it is, it is tough. Um, every bit as uh, tough as it, what it is pretty, as a matter of fact. Unfortunately, that ball is wet. Now on to his third shot after the last one went into the water. So, Frank, he'll take a drop here. Yeah, he'll take his medicine, take his penalty shot. The hole's not over yet. You like this one, Frank? Oh, it's a good one. Safely on. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. So another bogey on the scorecard, and Frank, what happened this week? Um, I think it's a week to forget, Rich. Set to round out the front side here at Wolf Creek with a par four. Fun hole for the big hitter, too. They can really take advantage of this. The last fairway bunker down there on, on the right side is just over 300 yards to get over it. And uh, longer hitters could nearly drive it in the greenside bunker on the right. So just tee it up there. Uh, keep playing desert golf for a reason. Enjoy it. Just have a little flick in here. Chance, too, to have a little birdie at the end of your front nine. 
Frank, as we look at the approach here at the ninth, what do you think the best play is? Well, unless you've laid up off the tee, Rich, you're only going to have a short shot into this green. You don't have to loft it too high. You can use the full length of the green. So something coming in a little bit lower and bouncing towards the flag is probably the best play. Put a birdie on the card here yesterday, don't forget. This for another birdie on this hole on the week. Made a good run at birdie. He'll have to focus now. Try to walk away with the par. I thought that was in. Yeah, it looked good. I mean, line, pace. It's hard to be critical of that. Well, too bad. He gives one back. Beginning the back nine here at Wolf Creek Golf Club in Mesquite, Nevada. Rich Lerner for EA Sports with my partner, Frank Nabolo. Frank, tell us about the 10th hole. Got to be careful here, Rich. That desert ridge on that right side, it sort of makes that fairway look smaller than exactly what it is. But this fairway is about the same width as all the others, so just convince yourself that. Good drive down here is going to give you a second shot. A little bit uphill into a green that sort of slopes away on a, about a 45-degree angle. This is position A right in the fairway, 180 yards to go. And this is looking really good. And it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? He'll need to be strong with this. Frank, it's not about getting the ball close to the hole from that spot. Well, he had no chance to get it close. Uh, I thought he had very, very, very little chance of getting it on the green. So given that, that was a very good shot. Well, for such a strong man, weak putt. Now I'll have to make this just to avoid making... Michael Dublé. Continues to roll the ball very well. We're here at the downhill par 3, 11th hole. Frank, it's 215 yards from the back tee. This hole uh, certainly is not for the faint of heart. When you look at that tee shot, you think, oh my God, what do I do from here? But remind yourself, it's 215 yards and really only about 160, 170 yards to green grass again. But it's 215 yards. That should be the club that you're trying to pick. Green's big enough. Just persuade yourself. Try not to look at the canyon and the desert. There is a green down there. The hole is playable. Close, couldn't ask for much more on that putt. Settles in over the putt. Now, as they say, 300 yard drive, one shot. Miss a short one, also one shot. Yeah, that's painful. That's a bogey. Frank, the par 5 12th is another case of a hole where you see that Wolf Creek Golf Club can actually be kind of scary, daunting. So you look out at the, the desert mountains, and then you add in some water, which we have here on the left, and you can go for some big numbers here if you're not careful. Well, this is where the wolf and the creek can take a bite out of you. You hit it left to rack up a number. There's